Hey, what's up, guys? Austin here, back with another episode of Study the Greats. And today we're going to be looking at the one and only Benny Gribb. So we'll take a look at his uh, performance from the Minor Drum Festival this year, where he does a pretty awesome crossover variation of a nine note linear fill that's pretty tasty. So let's go to the computer, we'll transcribe it out, and we'll see what he's doing. All right, cool. So we're at the computer here. This is Benny Greb at the Model Drum Festival this year. And if you've already seen this solo, then I'm sure this fill probably jumped out to you a little bit. So let's go ahead and loop it a few times and we'll see what he's doing. He makes it look so easy. All right. So from what I can tell, he's doing a crossover variation of what some people may call like the Dave Weckl linear nines. So let's go to um, Logic and we'll take a look at what that is. So here's my transcription of exactly what he's doing in the video. So I'll just play this real quick for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, the nine note pattern we're trying to isolate here. So it starts right here on the one. So it's right, left, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick. And that right there is the nine note pattern. So he just uh, cycles that a couple times and begins and ends it with some uh, six stroke rolls. So that that is like the, the nine note linear pattern. Now, one of the weird things about what he's doing from what I can tell, is he is playing both the hi-hat and the left kick pedal with his left foot simultaneously, just keeping an eighth note ostinato going under everything that he's doing, which is a little unique. You know, I've, I would never think to do that, and it makes it a little more difficult to, to play, but uh, that's what makes Benny Benny, so it's pretty awesome. So I have another version of the transcription here without the left kick on the bottom so you can see just what he's doing with his right foot so I'll play it again for you just so you can kind of see all right so let's go to the kit let's uh, break this thing down some more and see if I can even play it all right so let's break down the nine note pattern so it's right left left kick kick right left kick kick it's all based off 16th note triplets so the orchestration that he uses is right left left on the snare kick kick and then another right left but this is where the crossover happens so right hand on the snare left on the floor tom kick kick so let me play that pretty slow for you just so you can kind of see how that works three four Okay, so if you speed that up a little bit, it sounds something like this. Three, four. Okay, so that is the nine note pattern. So what he's doing in the video that makes this difficult is he's playing an eighth note um, ostinato underneath with his left foot simultaneously playing the kick and the hi-hat. So if you can look down on my uh, foot cam here, you can see that I have my foot split halfway between the two pedals so I can play them both at the same time, like this. It's a little bit awkward if you've never done it before. Um, I'm still not used to it, so uh, probably everything I'm going to try to do with it will be a little bit sloppy, but that's okay. So 
Um, when you add the ostinato underneath, uh, it should sound something similar to this. All right, so obviously my version sucks. His is great. But uh, I'm going to try to play everything that I transcribed out. So you can just follow along and um, try it yourself. See how you guys do with it. So here we go. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. That is the Benny Greb Crossover 9s. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos. And don't forget to like and comment below. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at ABB Drums. And you can visit my website at abbdrums.com. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.